Let's take a look at the very first one, Libra. Libra, let's see, the chariot, that's balancing the dark and the light. It's also forward motion. It can be traveling in style. So um, you may be creating some place to visit, but it does feel like a lot of these great ideas that you're having needs a little bit more motion. And I know you guys were just climbing out of the cave, I think last month or the month before. So all those ideas that have been sparked need a little bit of your attention and some motion underneath it. But for the most part, it does look like things are coming into balance for you, mind, body, and spirit, and that you are embracing this change. So congratulations, Libra. Uh, what crosses you is the kind of uh, hang out and have fun card. This is reconnecting with family and friends. So um, that may be happening right now for you, Libra. You know, it, it is the season for the for those of us to celebrate our connections with family and friends. So it may feel like you um, have to choose one or the other, either work or uh, celebration. So see if you can find that balance. But it does uh, look like uh, you need to find the balance, not give a, um, one more than the other energy. So it does feel like um, your endeavors, your financial endeavors need your attention a little bit. The Knight of Pentacles is here. Knights are about forward motion. Uh, Pentacles are physical things and money. Um, this feel is feeling like there's some movement that needs to happen. So um, are you physically moving? Um, is there a possibility of moving for a job? This is what it's feeling like. This feels like an offer of some kind, um, but it will require some movement on your part, whether it's physically moving from one city to another, or maybe commuting a little farther than you used to. Um, and this also can stand for a new project if you are in a committed, uh, a committed job. Uh, but it does feel like something new, uh, requires a little bit of effort on your part and may require some distance or you moving a little bit farther than you're used to to create this. The 10 is here on the other side here um, and the 10 of uh, Pentacles is really all about home. It's all about um, improving yourself. It's all about improving your home and recommitting to family, uh, kind of working together, resolving things. Um, but it does feel like something within the home has kind of come to a head. Uh, it, it does feel like something was, uh, some information was kept from you for a while, but now it is um, out in the open where you can deal with things. And it does look like a collective of people to resolve this. So don't be afraid to ask for help. Uh, but, you know, it can be, you know, anything from painting the house to cleaning out the garage to actually physically moving, moving someone in, moving someone out. But there does look like a shift in your home life in some way. It is a 10, so it is something that you are aware of that you're finding, um, you're finding the balance in the, in the newness, in the change. So, and for many of you, it may be looking for a, a, a home, uh, a new home or new apartment, some something like that. But it does look like things are coming into focus for you. And it does feel like the outcome will be healing, even though it feels a little tumultuous right now. What's in the present time is the Two of Wands. This is also about finding balance. This is also about letting go of the things that don't work for you, really focusing on the things that you do that do work for you um, and opening up your world a little bit to a broader scope, um, kind of the big picture. It also dictates collecting a little bit more information. There's a lot of orange here, so you may be healing your body on a physical form of some kind, can't even be mental form of some kind, but it does look like something you've been working on for better health, for better balance is coming into view for you. So it does look like that hard work and the half twos that, that you, you did uh, over the last couple of months, you're getting a little bit more reward for that. It does feel like a bit of a waiting period to, to see uh, 
when they when things clear what it looks like it does the family key is lighting up for me so there may be some communication necessary with a family member to get more clarity on this situation this also is a travel card so you have two travel on top of each other so you may be going somewhere for the holidays or planning a trip um, in the future the king of cups is here and you know kings are about completing things cups are about love or our heart space or emotions so usually the king of cups is a, someone who's kind and intuitive he's pretty pretty trustworthy um and has a good advice he's usually about very well versed in culture and arts and cups are water signs so this could be a physical person a pisces cancer or a scorpio this doesn't necessarily mean it's a male it can be someone with uh, great intuition um, great integrity and it does feel like uh, either asking for help or getting somebody else's opinion on something and going to a trusted friend that has um, always had your best interest at heart again again kings are about completing something so this has kind of been hanging in the balance so it does look like this is the key to the completion here is asking for what you need and getting a little bit more clarity if you get stuck this usually is someone with great intuition so this could be a mentor or a teacher or someone that you've held in high regard um, in your life the basis of all this is the lover. So are you ready to open your heart for love? Are you ready to improve the love that you have or to release the love that is not working? Usually when the lovers show up, it's, you know, doing some heart space work and you have a number of uh, cups here. So um, have you been working on healing your heart from a tumultuous breakup? Are you ready to embrace a new lover? Is there someone in the works there's that queen of wands right here this doesn't necessarily dictate gender remember um, but it does look like you have done a tremendous amount of work on your heart um, changing the patterns that you've had in your love space that didn't necessarily work whether they were codependent or whether you were you know had some addictions or just with the wrong person or um or just have an impasse in the current one that you have. But it does look like you have done a lot of that hard work or it wouldn't be in the basis here. So it's uh, time to open your heart a little further, either improve the relationship that you have, own what you can change, um, or release a relationship that is no longer working for you. So it does require some motion. You've got um, the king here, which is a completion. You've got two knights here, which is motion. So uh, take some of those ideas and some of those things that have been hanging in your heart and put them out into the world um, so they can be manifested and brought into your world. The Queen of Wands is here. Now, Queens, um, you know, Wands, she's about motion. She's about being social. Um, this is a person of possible authority. This is someone who's warm and honorable and um, can be even a leader. So uh, is this someone new in your awareness? And wands are about fire. So that's Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. So um, this is right on top of the lover. So this may be either the new love interest, the current love interest. Um, there are a number of people in here. So it does feel like a lot of people have opinions on um, your love space and what you should do. <laughs> so as long as you follow your own intuition, you're okay. But this Queen of Wands has an open heart. She's very capable of what she's doing. She's a mover and a shaker. Uh, but she does... Um, she is right here above the lover, so it wouldn't surprise me if you are currently involved with a fire sign or attracted to a fire sign. But the, for the most part, um, wands are, you know, socially prominent person. Um, so you may be actually putting some of your skills, some of the things that you love out into the world socially as well. 
So what is on top of that is the Wheel of Fortune, which is the 10 and the higher arcana. And the Wheel of Fortune basically is, you know, what you put into life is what you get out of it. If you put negative in, then you create negative. If you keep your mind positive in the manifesting place, then you'll move that energy towards the positive. But it does look like the Wheel of Fortune represents a bit of luck as well. So it is right on the lover's side. So you may be very lucky in love coming up in December. So pay attention to the gifts that the universe are bestowing you. The Knight of Wands is at the top of all this. Knights, again, are motion, forward motion. Um, but the Knight of Wands, you know, he can... There may be a bit of a spark of, of something that you are unaware of that you may have to deal with in the month of December. This could be um, kind of a tumultuous interaction with someone. Um, something comes to a head is what it feels like and kind of puts you back a little bit. You know, this night is going backwards. So it does feel like there will be kind of a tumultuous discussion. This may be a family member, roommate, boss, something like that, but it will create motion in the situation. Um, but, you know, if we neglect what we know, what we have to do, spirit kind of steps in and creates an uncomfortable situation, which forces us to move out of the, the place that we're in. It is right underneath the wheel of fortune. So, you know, you have luck on your side. Speak uh, your words with love and kindness. Don't avoid a conversation. If um, it needs to happen, please uh, be brave and put your... Uh, kind words forward and speak your truth. Um, okay, on the other side of here is the Page of Pentacles. You know, pages are about messages. They can be about children. For the most part, this feels like a message because it's right next to this communication that looks like it needs to happen. So the Page of Pentacles, um, that's about money. That also can be good news regarding money so are you, or material goods. So um, this may be something you've been looking for on a material level for a long time. You may get a good news about a raise or a new job or something coming to clarity that you've been kind of hanging in the balance. But for the most part, it's good news regarding money or material goods or worldly ambition. So it does feel like you're trying to change your reality a bit. So it does feel like you'll be getting some good news about what your next step will look like. On the other side of this is the Two of Pentacles. You have quite a lot of Pentacles, so money, well, not a lot, one, two, three. Um, money may have been kind of in your upper part of your mind for the last month, but it looks like you're going to get some answers about either how to create money, a new way of making money, or uh, job opportunities, uh, raises, uh, promotions, things like that. So you will be getting some news. Um, it feels about about money and how to be uh, making either more or um, a calmer situation around your money. The two here is finding the balance within money and life. Uh, it does feel like a little effort is required here. Um, you know, it's about giving and receiving, finding the balance of life. Um, this red hat is lighting up for me too. So uh, it does feel like there might have this, this big news out of the path. I mean, just out of all of a sudden, this news may have pissed you off uh, a little bit and helped you create something a little bit more fluid for you by being pissed off. Is your roommate moving out on you? You know, did your wife forget to pay the the bills, but there's something about money that pissed you off, but it really promoted um, a new way of doing things and a way of healing some of your finances and a way of looking at things a little differently. But it does feel like mind, body, and soul is being looked at pretty intensely and how to create a healthy balance with the juggle of life, especially as you move into these new demands. It looks like new demands on how you make money. All right, Libra, that is your general reading for the month of December. I'm going to throw a couple of these past life oracle cards. They're also a Doreen Virtue. They're one word, and it usually brings it on home. Let's see. Scribe or write. Okay, is it time for you to do a little writing? 
and vows. Well, that kind of goes along the line of lovers. It also goes along the line of making a new commitment to making money in a different way or looking at how you make money. Um, but scribing or writing, you know, if you've been very frustrated, putting things out in the world, and this could be just getting in touch with your creative essence too, even if you're not a writer, you might be a dancer, but it looks like really incorporating your passions. Don't forget to do the fun things as well as the have tos and vows, making new commitments to yourself, making new commitments new commitment to others, you know, um, some of the vows that or, or promises that you have made in the past may be out of date with what is going on presently. So take a look at what those promises are that uh, work for you and release the ones that don't anymore.